Hi, in this project I'm going to show you how to make a PWM control box for your trolling motor. This is a similar project that I've done in the past, except there's going to be some different electronic items in this one. There is going to be a power output meter, as well as a combination of a voltage ammeter. This will come in very handy when you're trying to determine the use of battery power in your kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. Right here in the center is a 12 volt, 60 amp reversible PWM or pulse width modulator digital speed controller. And this one has a power output reading that's going to come in handy for this project. And over here I have my waterproof project box. And then here I have an amp meter and voltage meter that I'm going to be using and it reads the amps using this magnetic coil type part that slips over the power wire and what's nice about this is that you don't have to use a shunt resistor in this project like you normally do when you want to read amperes and that saves some power and doesn't generate as much heat inside the box as when you use that shunt resistor. As I've shown in the previous video, I'm just going to go over the electrical connectors again. Now on the left here, this is the standard connector before I modify it for a 10 gauge wire. It's a marine shrink fit, but in order for it to work with this PWN, I had to drill out this little hole right there as you see on the right side in order for the screw to fit to attach it. And so that's how I made that. And then here are, is a little rubber grommet that I put underneath each of the four screws that holds the PWM above the baseboard. This is an overhead view of the interior of this box setup. Now, as I've said before, I went into greater detail on a previous video on how to do that. But in here you can see I have my base where everything is attached to and that's made out of poly cutting board. And I fit that in there by using a piece of paper as a template and then also lining up the holes to attach it, all four of them. And then once I made that template, I traced it out on the piece of the poly cutting board and cut it out to fit. But before I put it inside the box, I also placed the PWM PC board on that cutting board to see where I actually wanted to install it. And once I knew that, I drilled out the four pieces here so I can attach it to the baseboard there. And then underneath each one of these screws is the rubber grommet that I showed you earlier. And the purpose of that is to lift the PC board up above that base board there, which will give you an air gap, which will help with heat dissipation. And then you see I have my electrical connections here, including the positive and negative to the amp meter which goes to the battery, positive and negative. And then I wrapped the Hall Effect amp meter reader around the positive of the battery input. And then I used a zip tie here just to make sure I keep it in place. And then all these holes were cut out in the top of the box after I sketched them using a marker. And then I just cut it out using a cutting drill bit. So that's basically how the box was put together. This is my test setup for the PWM power and amp meter box. It's connected to my testing trolling motor and you can see the flashing display on the box and there are three modes for the amp meter. The first mode will give you just the voltage output the second mode, which I chose, gives you the voltage 
and then the amp reading and the amp reading will flash and both those readings will alternate and then the third mode is just the amp reading. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up and what you're going to see here is the percentage of power that the trolling motor is pulling with the voltage and the amps. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to take it up to about 50%. So there you have the reading. 50% power output. It's reading 12.0 volts. And the flashing 2.1 amps being drawn by the motor. So this little box is really good if you want to figure out exactly how much amps and power your trolling motor is pulling which will let you have a better idea how long your battery is going to last. So that's it. It looks like it's uh, working pretty good and it will be much easier to do testing out in the field than using the separate device that I was using to read the amps drawn by the motor. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.